Good day. In this video, we're going to look at exponential equations. Specifically, we're doing simultaneous equations with exponential equations. The question says, solve for x and y in the following. And they gave us two equations. That's why it's called simultaneous equations. And both of them have x and y, and x and y in them. But also they have exponents here. In exponential equations, usually, we make the basis the same. We numbered the first equation and called it 1, and we numbered the second equation and called it 2. So I rewrote equation 1 and prime factorized the basis. I rewrote equation 2 and prime factorized the basis. That 8 became 2 cubed, and the 4 became 2 squared. Then I times the 3 with the x, and the 2 with the 2, and with the y. That 9 over there became a 3 square, kept the 3 from over there. 27, I made 3 cubed. So that 3 times x becomes 3x, 2 times 2 becomes 4, and 2 times y becomes 2y. Over here, of course the bases are the same, and I'm timesing, I add the exponents. I times that 3 with that x, and we end up there. Now I can just throw away the bases. This becomes 3x equals 4 plus 2y. So this first equation simplifies to this. And the second equation simplifies up to here. So now this is still equation 1 and this is still equation 2. Now we can solve for x and y. Now there's different ways to take it from here, but this is what I did. I rewrote my 3x equals, and I kept this. Now here I also got my 3x alone. So I got 3x equals 2 plus y. Because these two 3x's are the same, it means that these orange parts will also be the same. So we write 4 plus 2y equals to 2 plus y. Now we solve for y. So we minus y on both sides. We end up with 4 plus y equals to 2. We still got to get the y alone. So we minus 4 on both sides. We get y equals to minus 2. Now we have the y value of this simultaneous equation. Now we take this y and either plug it back in there, or we plug it back in there, but I'm going to plug it back into one of these easier ones. So I'm going to take this y is minus 2 and plug it in the place of that y. I rewrite the equation I'm going to use. I substitute the y with minus 2, and I find my final value for x. Y by 3 on both sides, so x equals to 0. So the final answer is y is equal to minus 2, and x is equal to 0. Now you could have stopped over here, but I like to write x equals to north and y equals to minus 2. And this simultaneous equation is finished. Now you can check it if you're inquisitive. You can take that x is north and plug it in the place of that x, and that y, which is minus 2, and plug it in the place of that y, and see if the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Write it over here. I said the left hand side, take the 8, replace the x with 0, and 8 to the power of 0 is 1. Then I take the right hand side, take that 4, 2 plus y, replace the y with a minus 2, work it out, and I get 1. If the left hand side and the right hand side is equal, then I know my answer is right. We do not write this. We do this on our calculators if you feel like it. It's not part of the question unless you are forced to, and they say check your answers, which they very seldom do. Please stop the video and get your brain around this question. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy simultaneous equations.